Hello boys and girls, welcome back. Here's another uh, Austin K2Y. This will be my third. Um, I did the Gecko, uh, famous KTU they called it, which was the, the one that the Queen stood next to, Princess Elizabeth as was. Then I did the Airfix one, um, and I did that in an RAF scheme. So just to make it a little bit different. And then I, I pre-ordered this ages ago. So the early war, and I did an unboxing of this a little while ago, and it's virtually the same. Um, they're also bringing out a late war one, which again, I can't really tell the difference. There's one or two tiny little differences in the parts, but they're all basically the same. So I'm going to build this, uh, but I'm going to do it simple. The other Gecko one took me ages. There was lots and lots and lots of fiddly parts. Um, quite a few of which, if you shut the doors, you won't see. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. So if you want to see a really detailed build, this probably isn't the one to watch. Because I'm going to shut the back doors and I'm going to do this in a civilian scheme. So I'm going to do this in a, a either, I haven't quite made my mind up, it's either going to be one of the civilian like volunteer ambulance um, organisations. But the trouble with that is getting the decals just right. Um, just because I can't find anyone who can make decals that's affordable. And making my own, they might not work out just right on my printer. So what I might do is do a post-war sort of hospital perhaps or because um, what happened was after the war a lot of these were given away or sold off cheap. So hospitals and, yeah, and yeah, coal mines perhaps would have would have got hold of them and used them for a while. So I, I'm just staying away from doing a military one just because I like to do something a little bit different um, rather than doing it how it says in the box. Let's do something unusual with it. So let's get cracking. I've got a few new bits and pieces to try out with this one. <clears throat> Trying out some different primer. Uh, just because I wasn't getting on with the the one I had, so I've got some new new types of primer to try, and I've got a photo etch bending tool, um, which again I've never tried. So let's get rid of all the crinkly plastic first. Okay, so I've got got all the crinkly plastic bags out of the way because I know they make a racket when I'm doing stuff. a lot of parts but like I say because I'm going to shut the back doors all the stretchers and everything that's in the back I'm not going to bother with I've done that on the last two and it was great it's just the other two I've got I've got the back doors open so this one keep it simple just complete the set otherwise it's going to take you forever and it's not what I want from this so uh like I say, this isn't going to be building it the same way as everyone else is going to do it. I'm just going to do it as simple as I possibly can. So I've done the unboxing, so I'm not going to go through all that. So the first couple of sections is assembling the chassis. And then we move on to adding the wheels. Although the wheels are best left till the end because they get in the way. Uh, then the engine, which again, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll assemble it, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because again, on the last, sorry, on the first one I did, because I put so much effort into doing the engine, I had the bonnet open. So I'm not going to bother with that on this. It's going to be just on the road. So I'll do a half tidy job of it, but I'm not going to spend hours and hours and hours getting that 
just perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll get to the rest of it as we go. So first off, getting the chassis done. So one thing I'm gonna try and do when I build this one, I got a little bit lost on the first one. So I'm gonna try and keep a bit more organized and just have the, the right frames out at the right time, keep everything else in the box. Easier said than done. But I shall have a go. So, C49. Okay, so I've just taken all the bits off and cleaned them all up. So, I seem to recall this was a bit fiddly because you've got to fit. Ugh, this is hard to see grey bits everywhere. So these, these two fit together and then these are just straight off the frame. So I've just glued that one there together. You've got to fit all five of those parts. One, two, three, yeah. Between these two. Um, yeah, it was a bit fiddly. Uh, but I got there in the end. Um, yeah, so they're all cleaned up, ready to go. So I think how I did it in the end was um, sort of glued them all on one side and then manhandled it in with them on the other side. Yeah, a bit cack handed. Uh, let's give it a go. So that's what we're up to so far. So it's sections one, two, and three. So I've given it one coat of black primer, which I have to say came out really, really well. Really impressed with that. Um, just trying black primer, cause I used gray before, but the plastic's gray. So when you spray it, it's difficult to see that you've covered it all. And then as well, in this case, I was gonna spray the top coat is going to be a grey, so it's going to be tricky to, to see. So going for black, I can see the bits that I've covered. Simple as that, really. So this all went together rather rather nicely. Um, I've put the, the axle on and a couple of little bits in there, parts of the suspension. Um, and now I'm going to give it a coat of the the grey whichever one of my collection i decide to spray it i'm going to go for a sort of lightish grey this primer was recommended so it's from mr hobby and it's mr finishing surfacer 1500 black and the chap who recommended it said mix it 50-50 with this stuff, Mr. Mr. Colour Leveling Thinner. Um, 
So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. What I found is on out of the airbrush, it can't, even even on full full um, pulling the trigger back, so the most amount of paint came out came out very very slow, which made it really really nice to spray because you could just have it on full and it just very gently covered it. But if I was doing a bigger area, it'd take forever. So I think I probably need to put a bit more thinner in it so that a bit more comes out. But the surface is lovely. Um, not keen on the smell of it because I, I assumed it was acrylic, but it's not. Um, but yeah, the surface of that is beautiful. It's a really thin, smooth covering. Really nice. So uh, thank you for the recommendation. Um, right, so let's give it a coat of, of grey. So this is had now a coat of black Mr. Surfacer primer and then a light coat of uh, this one. Model colour Sky Grey 70989, which I thought would be a reasonable sort of colour. Um, light enough that any decals that I put on it will stand out a bit because the decals are going on a red so if I did the grey a little bit darker it wouldn't really show so I think that'll do uh, I'll give that another coat in a bit okay so the, the chassis had a, a coat of Mr Hobby uh, black primer and then a single coat of the uh, sky grey and since then I put the tanks on and the back axle and prop shaft so you can see how close the colours are so if I'd have I'd have primed it in grey it would have been impossible to sort of see which bits I'd done which bits I hadn't um, so I'm going to prime these in a minute uh, what I did do was I primed the the engine and I've just fitted that in so obviously it need touching up here and there with the exhaust and things, fan belt and stuff like that. But I just went up all over it in blue, which you might think is an odd choice, but I think it was, if they had a replacement engine, I think replacement engines were in blue, sort of reconditioned or something. So some of them would have had blue. And I think it's just a bit more interesting. Okay, that's where we're up to tonight. Now, as an experiment, I've printed these off. So this is decal paper. One of them is um, clear and the other one's white. And by looking at them, I can't tell the difference. I've uh, never done my own decals before. So this is just printed it off in loads of different sizes just to kind of have a play around with it. And this is the emblem of the uh, American Ambulance Great Britain. So I've managed to sort of do that in a few sizes as well. Um, I'm not an expert on the PC, but it seems to have come out all right. I'm not sure if this is going to be the actual font I use, but this is just to see how it works. Um, and then I've got this stuff. So li liquid decal film. And it supposedly all you do is... Blah, 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 blah. Um, so I'm just going to try painting this on top of the the decals I've printed, let it dry, and then see if it works. So what I've been doing is making these small sub-assemblies, just ready to prime them all. Um, a couple more bits to do, but it's easier, if, I, I find it easier to spray it all in one hit rather than bit by bit. Um, so that's as far as I've got so far. Uh, I'm waiting for some more thinners to come so I can clean the uh, airbrush out when I use it. Um, I don't want to keep using the expensive thinners just to clean it with. Um, so while I've been waiting, I've just been putting bits together ready for when it comes. Um, so come on, Amazon, hurry up. I just prime these a um, few bits and bobs here. Got 
couple more bits over here. Done those in white. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. So progress since then. Um, <clears throat> and it looks like everything's in primer, but this is actually the finished color. It's a sky gray. Uh, so yeah, that's why I had to prime everything in black or white because I'd never been able to tell the difference between that and the color of the plastic and the usual gray primer. Uh, so all the bits are kind of done, ready to assemble pretty much. Um, this bit I've done with the blinds down, managed to snap off this little bit here. It's just a little sort of peg sticks out. It's part of where the spare wheel goes. So I'm going to have to fix something on there. Um, so last night I got the, the front end on. And what I found when I did it the first time, so what I did the first time was I put the radiator grill and the mud guards on. Then when it came to, f sorry, the, put the this bit in first. Then, then that, then that. Then I left it overnight. When it came to fitting the the four bits of the bonnet, it wouldn't line up and I had to do all sorts of squeezing to get it all to fit. So this time I put it all together in one hit. So there was a bit of flex in the glue to line it all up. But even so, it was a little bit tricky and I'm not altogether happy with the gap there. Oops, focus. Yeah, not quite. Not quite right that. A um, little bit of a, a mishap with the glue there, so it's taken a bit of the paint off. But um, should be able to touch that up. This white here is um, the sort of high vis stuff they used to do during the war. So you often see bumpers painted in white, and they did a trim around the mud guards as well, just so that. In the blackout, you stood a bit of a chance. Uh, this is the back end here. So looking at the instructions, it says to fit these uh, photo etch cages that the water bottles and uh, jerry cans go in. So it's fit them first, and then afterwards fit this panel here, AB14. But that is well tricky, because once you've fitted, fitted those in, there's not a lot of room to get this panel on the back. So I kind of had to sort of squeeze it to get it to fit. So it would have been easier to put that on first. And then once that's set, then this will line up neatly and you can place it inside. Um, yeah. So I didn't remember until I'd done this that I had that same trouble with the first one. And it ended up looking awful because it sort of stuck up. Ugh. Never mind. Um, other than that, it all clicks together really nicely. I've got um, a couple of bits to do up the front. I've got a, there's some decals to go on the on the instruments. Um, actually, that's about it really for that. I'm not going to do an awful lot of detail. Um, then I've got the the windscreen. You have to paint the frame of that. Um, and then really it's just gluing lots of bits on what I've got over here. So this is drying. This is one of the, the side panels. And it's um, the model, the version I'm doing has a red stripe down the side. So I've sprayed them on. Hopefully that will come out right. The paint sort of, it's weird. It's not sort of, uh, let's see if I can show you. If it will sort of show up on there, come on, focus. Come on, focus, you idiot. That's it. Yeah, not, you might just be able to make it out. The paint doesn't want to sort of stick around the edges. Um, don't know why. The paint underneath was fine, but. Uh, it might be all right. I don't know. It might just be the light hitting it, perhaps. We shall see. Um, 
One other thing I, I did, which I'm gonna to have to redo. So I made these out of a margarine tub and that is for the, la, 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 la. I've lost it now. The decal I made, here it is. Oh, come here. It's for that to fit on. But then um, I went back through my my reference photos and I, there was one I'd forgotten about when I looked at it. It was a, a view of the front end and this is quite a bit too big. It should be about two thirds of the, the size of that. So I'm gonna have to chop that down and make some smaller decals to fit on it. Uh, not the end of the world. I think it'll look better a little bit smaller anyway. That's a, a bit chunky. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll crack on and uh, yeah, see what happens next. Okay, bit of an update. So as you can see, it's so starting to take a shape a little bit now. Most of the front end's done. A um, little bit of bleeding on that red stripe there. That's part of the uh, colour scheme I'm doing, which is just a red stripe on a grey background. Um, but one bit of issue I had was... Oops, as you can see there, that left hand sidewall's warped. I didn't really notice that until I started putting it together. So it made it a bit tricky. And then, might not really show up. It, it made the whole thing go slightly crooked. But, uh, never mind. I'm sure once I put the doors on, it'll sort of pull it straight. Then, I've made the front and rear number plates so in the kit you don't get any number plates because they were just um, stenciled on numbers on the on the bonnet or the back door but this being a civilian one actually had proper number plates now I've seen a photograph which had the front on it so I've cut that out of a piece of photo etch it's one of these uh, which are the runners for the stretcher which I didn't need because I'm not putting the stretchers in so just a, a bit of that uh, did a bit of maths to work out the size and I got this set for a previous kit which if it's any use to you is oops, that's the serial number Ventura Decals V7282 and it's supposed to be a 170 second set of serial numbers for there you go you can read that yourself but they're actually, these are just under three millimeters, I think. And there's some like one millimeter or one and a bit millimeter numbers. So you've got quite a few numbers and letters and you know, various styles there. Um, and I'm reckoning these are about the right size to make a number plate. So that's the plan. So that's a fun little job to do. Uh, I've badly painted the the frame of the windscreen I'll tidy it up again in a minute um, but yeah it's getting there not an awful lot to do now a couple of little bits there where, where I went wrong but you know I'm not perfect so I make mistakes I'll just uh, I'll call it weathering <laughs> okay right that's it for for now okay so a little bit more progress that's the number plates I did last night. Don't think they're too bad. Just used a couple of spare bits of photo etch to make those little brackets. I just glued them on the back of that rear panel. And that's a scrap of photo etch painted and with the decals on. And then similar on the front, that's a bit of photo etch. Got the numbers slightly wonky, but yeah, there's a war on. Um, I've had a bit of an issue with the back doors because as you can see that's that's well wonky um, and it's kind of pushed it instead of being square it's sort of diamond shaped it's leaning over so getting the, the back doors to fit what I'm going to try I've glued a bit of yogurt pot or margarine tub or something on the back um, so that I know that they're square and then when I put it on there, 
sort of line up on one side and then I can get everything to line up with that because at the moment I'm trying to put it in and if you line it up on one side it's uh, leaving a, a gap so then you move it over and then you're trying to hold it all, all steady and it? it's not working. So I think lots of tape, lots of glue, uh, possibly some more bits of yoghurt pot. I didn't have this trouble with the first one. This one, I think, you know, that door there you can see is a little bit warped as well. But the other one's fine. So, yeah, a couple of little quality issues with this particular kit. But... Uh, I'll figure it out. So I've got these two bits of plastic, just like this sort of stuff, even see-through stuff. Gave it a coat of primer, quick tosh of uh, grey over the top. And it's come out sort of mottled, but I'm gonna leave that because I can't kind of think, these are probably bits of wood, hand painted, so that sort of grainy look that's on there looks like a bit of a happy accident. Um, these are the decals that I made. My computer skills aren't good enough to make them the shape they should be. Because um, I'll put a picture up, but they, they're curved. So American Ambulance curves around the top and Great Britain curves around the bottom of these little crossed flags um, so it's not going to be terribly accurate but it's the best I can do with my limited skills so let's see what happens so that's what I did last night the uh, the problem I was having doing the decals was if I painted on the um, liquid decal film too thin then the ink would start bleeding out, um, like that one there. You can just sort of make out, it just, it just peeking away. So you have to put it on a bit thicker, but then you can kind of see it's a bit thick. Um, it's not too bad, I mean, it's, it's bearable, but because it's a bit shiny, it kind of stands out a bit. But I'm hoping with a, a coat of matte over it, you'd be all right. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. It's it's not brilliant. It's my first attempt, so uh, the fact that you can read it is quite quite good. Um, so just got to stick them on and give them a coat of varnish. Okay, I'm going to call it done. So. Uh, yeah, a little bit of warp, warpedness on there. You can see that panel. I just couldn't get it to line up. Just would not stick. Just yeah, didn't notice it until it was too late to do anything about it. Um, yeah, first attempt at decals. Yeah. But you get the idea. And I, I'm learning. Oh, something stuck to it there. I'll wait until the the varnish is properly dried and then I'll pick it off. So, yeah, it's not too shabby. It's all right. I've made what far, far worse. So, uh, for some reason it's looking blue on the camera. Don't know what it's about. It definitely isn't blue. It's really weird. I don't know why that's coming up blue. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So that's the third of these, and hopefully the last. Although I've pre-ordered the the variant of this from Airfix, which is the open back version. So I'll be doing something similar when that comes out, but uh, that should be an easier build than this. So anyway, that'll do. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.